All right, uh, I'll just jump right into this. I got a bit of an idea um, going on. And um, uh, okay, so here's the thing. Um, this this happens quite a bit, you know, especially with younger, uh, younger males. You know, male 19, 20, 23, 24 years old, right? Um, commits a crime goes to jail, goes to prison, goes to... Listen, let me take you to... Uh, let me take you to Batman, Gotham City, right? Uh, I don't know if you remember that... Well, I played a video game. Uh, not not that long uh, Well, quite a while ago. I played a video game for Batman. And um, it, I think it begins with Bruce Wayne is being sent to Gotham, um, a, sa a criminal asylum. A criminal asylum in Gotham. And right when he gets out, there's guys, you know, saying stuff to him, giving him threats. Bruce Wayne, we are gonna, I'm gonna make you my bitch. Bruce Wayne, blah, blah, blah. You know, as he walks in. And then, and then you know, the game goes on. But that was the beginning. Okay, so everybody knows that the Joker was put in Gotham Asylum. Right? Joker was supposed to be one of the most infamous criminals. He was put in Gotham Asylum. He um, um, he he did he did his time in Gotham Asylum. Now I'm gonna move away from this. I'm gonna go back to my idea. You have a young guy who commits a crime. Um, he commits a crime. He's known by people around there, right? He went to school, right? He went to college, or maybe he went to college. Maybe he was he had a couple of jobs. But he knows peeps, people have some idea of who he is, right? Now he goes to jail, prison, or, or whatever he goes to, Gotham Asylum, right? He goes away for two years, three years, right? Do you notice when the guy comes back how different he is? Have you noticed that? When a guy comes back, um, how different that guy is? I've actually done two years on house arrest. I was put under uh, an order for house arrest and I was given two years on house arrest. Again, uh, I had a lawyer who was just totally screwing me over, telling me that she was the best in the business and that she had was looking out for my interests and, giving, and, and she was just bullshitting me the whole time. But anyways, I got put under house arrest for two years. Uh, I, got, I got bail and then after getting bail, I, got two, I did two years under house arrest. Um, so what happened was I've kind of had a bit of some versatility, right? I went back to jail three, three times, um, twice, uh, well, once was for something, twice was for, bre uh, for breaching bail, twice was just breaching bail, right? Breaching my bail conditions. I went back twice for breaching my bail conditions. I did two years, um, on house arrest, um, <laughs> Did two years on house arrest and uh, uh, and then and then three years in this facility. Um, but the point is that you'll have somebody. No, that's a long time. Two years house arrest, a year bail, three years here, and then and then a year where, or a little while where where I almost had very good. Uh, you know, I was able to uh, go out a lot, and um, and I used that time and then I learned a lot. Um, you know. Um, but, 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 but that's what happened. Uh, oh, but like I said, even if a guy doesn't do all that, if he just does two or three years in jail or prison, right? When he comes back, everything is different. Every, every city, every community will have this story, at least 20 of these stories, okay? A guy is known as a certain way, goes to jail or prison, comes back after two or three years, now he's a shit. I mean, Tupac went to jail or prison for, two, for, for a little while, came back, and, and then he was like the top rapper. You know what I mean? This happens all the time. Let's talk about famous people um, who have done uh, jail time. Um, I don't know, Tupac is, I think that's good enough. Um, who else do we know that um, that did some jail time? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, there's, there's, anyways, everybody knows this story. You know what I mean? Guy goes away for two, three years, comes back, he's a different guy. Why is it, right? And there's two aspects to that. By the way, you know, there are gangs out there that were actually created inside of prison. Okay, so so this gang that's out there was born inside of a place where nobody can go outside. 
right? Number one. Number two, you got to understand that any correctional facility, even Gotham Asylum, any correctional facility um, is meant to, like, there are options for people to better themselves. It's not, ex it's not your Harvard College, but you can have classes, um, you can study basic things. It's not really important. They, they give you classes, they have, the whole idea, you know, they do get to, get. they do, they do, they do kind of courses or programs about how to reintegrate, how to do a business or what kind of career you can do or what kind of, you know, all that's in there. So, um, you know, there are even chefs who started from prison. They went to prison, they started working in the prison kitchen. By the time they were done, they had done three years of, of, of cooking all the time, uh, full-time cooking basically. Right. And they got paid like 50 cents an hour or 50 cents every two hours, whatever they got. But when they got out, they became they became successful chefs. The point is that any correctional facility that you're there for a crime is meant to be um, to, re to, to correct you. So that when it's correctional, you get out, you're able to live. And I've already talked about this. But the point is that whether it's whether it's negative, like because because there are gangs very, very powerful, you know, there are gangs that have been born in prison or have been further, further developed in prison. We, we know that. We know that. That's obvious, right? That's that's out there already. That's out there. Okay, that's number one. So you have a, a kind of a gang mentality or, or an illegal mentality. On the other hand, you have people who are doing a, a, a different kind of program in order to be legit so that when they get out, they're successful legitimately. Now, how does that happen? Because a prison is like, you know, people are not really able to get far out or anything or, or even a jail. They're not, they don't get to go far out. So how does that happen? How is that possible? I'm not really sure. But I think I think sometimes you being put in the worst situation can bring the best out of you. I will tell you that it, that everybody knows that in those situations, majority of the people maybe or not the majority but 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 quite a few some people will be much worse off some people will just be uh uh the, the, that time will will kind of affect them negatively either that time will affect you negatively quite negatively some you know there there are people who who just break and then you have and and I and I've talked about this you have like your one person one out of a thousand who finds like they get way struck so if, if there's an explanation needed, it's like, um, you know, and I've, I, I've seen it and, and people talked about that all the time. It didn't happen to a, a, a lot. It didn't happen to every guy that did that, but guys who went away for two or three years, when they came back, uh, they were physically stronger, you know, physically more fit. They were stronger mentally. They had different personalities now because they spent, spent so many years away from everybody in that, in, <clears throat> in that situation. So, you know, you might wonder, well, you know, what's changed here? I, I, I mean, dude, I'll tell you, like, like I, I, I took it to a, whole to a whole different level. I took it to a whole, and, and I'll tell you, one out of a thousand guys, when they're put in any kind of uh, a position like that, I'll tell you right now, one in a thousand will find that they, they will become much more stronger in every way. And I'm talking about ability too. Like, like, uh, like, 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 I can swim in deep waters metaphorically, just like a shark. I, I now forget just like a shark. I you know I can do you know I can do a lot of things that that, that sharks can do. If not everything, you know I can. I, I'm swimming the shark way. There's no creature, by the way, that swims and and eats and hunts like a shark. But uh, you know I'm I, I'm I can shark. So that's the only reason I can shark. I can do other things too. I can shark. Um, um, no, I can I, So yeah, I can shark. I can do a lot of things. I, 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 I've been more pro legit though. I've been pro business, you know, I've been pro business and pro legitimate life, but I can shark people legitimately or, or, or uh, in the legit, you know, legitimately or, or illegitimately. I can do a decent job of being a shark. I, I can, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not your worst shark. Is what I'm trying to say. I I am a, I, I am your de I am a decent shark, okay. But that's just one dimension. And then imagine all the legitimate dimensions and everything that a guy who just explodes is capable of. You know, this is not like Mike Jones. Like you know, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all love. It's not. It's not that kind of thing. 
This is like someone doing, uh, dude, imagine spending three years in a facility, man. You know what I mean? Imagine spending three years in a facility consecutively, right? And that's after doing years of house arrest to spend three years in a facility consecutively. You know, you, you, you know what I mean? That's not a back then they didn't want me. That's like, I'm a grown ass man now. You know what I mean? You're dealing with a man here. You know, and, and I and I and I know what it's like. Most people they have a problem. They don't want to. They don't want to fuck with the shark. So what do they do? They 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 turn their back, and then they plot some other way to get at that guy or that shark. That's what they do. Anyways, I'm done, and I'm gonna post this up.